So truth be told, I've always found track mats to be a bit complex. And I think that's because when you compare it with other methods of compositing, it seems quite difficult to work with. Take masking, for instance. When you mask something, you're simply using the pen tool or one of the shape tools to make a selection in a layer, and anything that you mask out becomes transparent. And then anything layered beneath your layer now becomes visible through that transparency. So it's quite a simple concept. The same thing really goes for chroma keying. If you, let's say you've shot something on a green screen background, you apply your chroma key effect, and then you make all of the green color transparent, and anything underneath that layer is now visible. Again, very simple concept. The track mat is a little more complex. Essentially, when you use a track mat, you're taking the transparency or alpha channel information from one layer, and you're assigning that to another layer. So let me give you an example here. Okay, so here I have two clips. I have a clip that I'm gonna use as a track mat, and I have my source clip. So now essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the alpha information from my track mat and I'm gonna assign it to my source clip here, which is my shot of my building. If you look at the track mat clip, this is simply a white circle against a transparent background. Everything in black here is alpha or transparent. So once I assign this as a track mat to my building layer, I'll have this as a composite. So now that we know what a track mat is, let's see how we can use it as a transition. To do that, I'm gonna jump inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. For this particular example, I'm going to be using clips from a video pack called Prism. This is a pack of 200 plus video transitions from a company called Rocket Stock. It's amazing. I just got it the other day and there are a ton of transitions. There's something like 200 transitions and nine different categories. It's amazing. But don't fear because the skills that I'm teaching you here today, you'll realize that you can quickly create your own track mats, your own animated track mats. You don't need to buy these packs, but if you want to, these are here for you and they are amazing. I'm telling you they're amazing, you need to buy them. Okay, so I have my clip here inside of Premiere Pro and I wanna transition from black into this shot here of my building panning shot. So, as I said before, I'm working with some clips from this prism pack from Rocket Stock. So let me show you what track mat clip I wanna use here. So this is just a simple circle that animates in and then goes to full screen. And this is where the trick is really happening. When this thing comes full screen, this is where our transition is taking place. So let me just drag this over. So to make this work, I need to drag this over my clip that I wanna transition into. And since we're transitioning into this clip, I'm gonna bring it to the head of the clip. Now, if we just look at it right now, it's just showing us that it's this simple white circle. We can see the alpha channel now because it's showing us the transparency. Now, how can we make this work? Well, the real secret sauce is the track mat key effect. So let me go over here to the effects panel and then type in track mat key. Comes up here under video effects keying. Now I'm gonna drag this effect to our source clip here, which is our building clip. A lot of people make the mistake of placing it on the actual track mat clip. You don't wanna do that. So now I'm gonna grab this clip and then open up the effect controls panel. Now I can see the track mat key effect here. Now what we wanna do is very simply tell it which video track to take the mat from. So again, we have our track mat in video track two. So we can tell it, go over here, video track two. And now voila, we can see our composite taking place. So let's go over and take a look at it. And there it is, it's applied. Our transition is taking effect and it looks great. Now if we go back to the effect here, you can see, you can also do a luma mat if you have a black and white clip or with some shades of gray, you can, you can get some pretty creative results using a luma mat. Also, you can reverse the mat if you want to uh, actually transition out or just switch things up a little bit. You can quickly reverse it. And this is key frameable, so you can get some interesting effects if you play around with this. Now next, let me show you how we can transition between two clips, not just transitioning from black. So I have another clip here. How can we transition between these two clips using our track mat? Well, I'm gonna drag these two over here up a track. I'm gonna bring this one down. And I'll bring it just like this, and theoretically this should work, right? I have this here, and if we put it down in the bottom layer, it should automatically just transition with our composite. So let me play this back. And you can see our composite is lost. It's not working correctly. So what's going on? It kind of lost the key. So what we need to do is select our clip with the track mat key effect on it, and we have to tell it again that it's on a new video track, because what we did was we moved this up from video track two to video track three. So this effect is not smart enough to know what's going on. So we have to go in and manually switch this back to three. And now 
our trackback key is taking effect. Now let's take a look at it. So there you have it, there's a transition that we created with our track mat, super simple, super easy. If you like the transition, go over and check out rocketstock.com, they have two packs of transitions. One is called Prism, and then they have an older one called Stanza. Both of them are amazing, they have a ton of transitions that are plug and play. You can use them in Final Cut, After Effects Premiere, I'll provide links in the description. Once again, if you don't have the budget for these packs, uh, tinker around in Premiere or After Effects and simply make your own. It's as simple as animating a few shapes. Okay everyone, I hope you learned something from this tutorial I hope you're gonna go out there and make some track mats use some track mats as transitions make some cool effects with them if you do be sure to share them with me I would love to see what you put together if you like this tutorial hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time